All right, so I've heard that you guys wanted a tutorial on how we made the backdrop for the photo shoot or for the birthday party. And uh, I wanted to give you a quick tutorial. Now, I am no like handyman, so I'm just gonna tell you how I did it and it's pretty easy. So even if you're like me and you're not used to using tools, you can get it done, it's pretty easy. Okay, the first thing you'll need is two pieces of four, Feet by eight feet MDF is what I use. You could probably also use sanded um, plywood, but it's a little bit more expensive. We use, just use this MDF. So two pieces, four by eight. I got them at Home Depot and one of the pieces, I had them rip right down the middle. And so it was, instead of four by eight, it was two by eight, two pieces of two by eight. They cut it for free. And so when you go home from Home Depot, you'll have three pieces. One big four by eight and two two by eights. Skinnier, but still eight feet tall. Okay, now once you get home, you lay all your MDF board down on a flat surface. I started with the four by eight. We wanted a big half circle for the four by eight. So you tie a string to a pencil and the string should be 24 inches, which is right in the middle. And then you'll hold it nice and taut and you'll use that string to form the outside of your circle. I forgot to mention in the last video, dimensions. We went just over seven feet. I, th I think it's like seven feet, two inches. Um, so we cut off about 10 inches off of the top of the four foot by eight foot um, MDF board. Uh, but once you draw your circle, you're gonna use a jigsaw. So you need a jigsaw. They're really easy to use. Um, and basically you use the jigsaw to cut the arc that you just traced with your pencil. And then you'll want to sand it down nice and smooth after you've made the cut with your jigsaw. Uh, Okay, so now you're done with your largest piece, the center piece. And now you're gonna work on the smaller pieces. So you'll get your two by eights that you had cut. And um, you're gonna use the same 24 inch string because these aren't, these aren't half circles, they're quarter circles. So you still do 24 inches and you create your arc using 24 inches. Instead of placing it at the center, you place it on the edge to create the 24, uh, to create the quarter circle instead of the half circle. Okay, now this part I wanted to draw, um, and in the last video I showed you how to trace or how to, how to draw the quarter circle. Now I'm gonna show you dimensions. So if you imagine this is your two by eight, then uh, we did our tallest quarter circle at six feet. And we, um, we did the, so this piece is at six feet. And then with the remnant, we just used as much as we had left. I didn't even measure it, but it's just using as much as you had left. And then on the other side, we had a, a, a quarter circle that's five feet three inches and again this remnant will be a little bit taller um, and so that's how you want to trace them in order to maximize the amount of um, MDF board that you use. And finally, we come to how everything was supported. And uh, I used three two by fours and two inch screws to secure everything to the back side of the arch. Um, this, the dimensions for this top piece is 39 inches and the dimensions of this bottom piece is 36 inches. These two pieces are also 36 inches. This is 36 inches and I think these were five feet. Um, but basically you want to um, get this at a height in which you can angle in these supports and bracket it to the sides in order to make sure that everything stays in place. And uh, finally, what we didn't realize, we thought everything could just be leaned up against this, um, but we had the wind push it. And so we eventually tied strings from the back side of the support to, um, and fastened them onto the quarter circles. Okay, so at the last minute, we realized that we couldn't just lean the uh, other pieces against the center arch. So we put these hooks in the back 
and uh, just tied with string the, the hook to this arch uh, or this brace to make sure that it didn't go anywhere. Um, again, you could probably come up with a better solution, but we were in a rush. Uh, the party was starting and this was the best solution we came up with.